what's up y'all welcome to the channel it's your girl carrie m and your girl's coming through with another video first of all before we get too deep i need you to click on that pretty red subscribe button hook your sis up if you don't want to miss any of my videos make sure you turn on that notification bell okay so let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get deep let's go Today's sponsor is Janet Collections, so I'm super appreciative of that. Shout out to y'all, thank you very much. I don't play by my Janet Collection, okay? I must let y'all know, the bundles that I'll be using will be linked in the description box, as well as the Isha Girl products in my promo code. You can also take advantage of, so you can save yourself a little coin if you wanna pick up some of these Isha products, which I will recommend. We'll get into each item while I'm using it, as I'm using it, as we get into the video, okay? Now, we're gonna be doing a quick weave. I have haven't done a quick weave in probably over a year but quick weaves are definitely one of my styles that I've done I've done a quick weave over a hundred times on myself it, it, it used to be one of my go-to things before I started diving into the weave I mean the wig little thing but I haven't done one on this channel yet which is crazy because quick weaves is like <laughs> That's all I used to do. So we're gonna do it today. Super excited, love it. Love how natural it looks. I love the leave outs. Um, I'm a natural girl, okay? No more relaxed ends. All of that has been snipped and cut off. So I, I kinda got it looking real cute today, okay? And I, I'm here for it. Hubby loves it as well. It just, come on, man. Come on, leave out on a quick weave. It just looks so natural. And it was time for a switch up. So I don't wanna chat too much. Let's get into the video and let's get started. So the bundles that I'm using is the Janet Collection Prestige Natural Luxurious Human Hair Bundle. It's professional level and it's authentic 100% raw natural Remy human hair. I will be using a whole pack of 12 inch, a whole pack of 10 inch, and like two little pieces off the 12 inch. The bundles are pretty full as you can see. You can get it done with just two bundles. Now they did give me a few little goodies, some more lace spray from Isha, their detangling brush. They also gave me this massager like to when you wash your hair in the shower. Never try that out. Wonder how that's gonna go. Um, we did get a nice little silk wrap for your edges and some more of this good stuff that i love so much all right y'all so we're going to move into the prepping um for the prepping i will be doing leave out of course i have natural hair my hair is blown out i decided where i wanted my parting space and i will be getting some pieces together from each side of the parting space so i can make sure i have enough hair to cover the tracks on both sides um, I have very thin, thin edges and I didn't want to pull it anymore. So I decided to braid that piece to keep it out the way just so that way it's not going to be braided and included in the hair that I'm going to be gluing my tracks down on. Um, so of course I went in with the Isha Slick and Slate Girl because it gets your braids nice, tight and slayed. Um, I like to grab the second braid as I go along throughout the entire corn roll process lift it up attach it that way when I get to the end it's just like one tail piece um it just makes for easier tucking of the braids when you get to the back and honestly y'all I ended up taking those out and doing them smaller so I ended up doing smaller braids in the front but as you can see I have one little tail piece that I tucked in so I will be using the Isha Melt and Slay Lace Spray to just, you know, get my hair nice and protected and kind of crunchy hard, just like a protection coat. I will be protecting it with um, something that you should be using when you put glue on your hair, but I just wanted to give myself an extra layer of protection. And technically this is also a hairspray, so that's what I decided to do. Now, I do have the cap on and I'm just outlining all of the leave out so that way when I add on the magic stuff <laughs> it won't get into the leave out and I don't want it to like make a mess and all of that because you get the point girl you know what I'm saying so I'm just smoothing that out with my application brush and just putting it on my hair and making sure not to go outside of the line that I created and I actually did add two layers of this stuff but I just showed the process of me adding one layer because it's repetitive you get the point and I'm also outlining that with my glue that way when I cut the lace I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't moving especially in those areas basically just like a 
I'm going to glue it down. I don't want it moving in these spots specifically. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to move into the application. So when it comes to the tracks, of course, I like to measure it out, see where I'm going to be placing them, and then I cut them. So I start off with the 10 inch. I use the entire 10 inch bundle pack, and then I moved into the 12 inch bundle pack. And I'm just basically going around in a circle in a C shape. I like to flat iron it out, get it nice and straight, add the glue blow dry it a little bit apply it to the head um on the left side where the parting space is though i don't bring it as far to the front only because i want to leave some space in the front so when i start getting closer to the leave out i kind of have some type of symmetry as far as the amount of space on each side being kind of equal and i also like to add a little bit of spritz because it kind of just hardens it a little bit so that way it definitely stays in place. I've been doing that since I was in high school and it definitely works y'all. I mean, that's an old school technique. I ain't gonna say it played out cause if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? So yeah, I just continued doing this until I got um, to a certain point in the process, which you'll see, I'll start to kind of stack them more so against the parting space. And you'll see that when we get there, um, I just kind of wanted to fill up the back and the sides for now and right here I'm only adding tracks on that one side just to kind of fill it in so that way we have some even symmetry of amount of space where I need to glue on both sides like how I was explaining earlier so yeah hopefully my video is a little more explanatory than my words are because it's hard to explain that's why we have the video right but you get you get what i'm saying but anyways this is the stacking process i'm talking about um it kind of reminds me of when i used to do the invisible part and we used to kind of stack the tracks on top of each other so you didn't have any leave out so i'm kind of doing like a invisible parts method except we obviously have leave out but this is going to help in kind of camouflaging the tracks instead of stacking them on top of each other until we reach the leave out so i kind of did that all the way until we got to the back and then i had to kind of finagle it uh with my little mirror you know it was kind of hard to see back there so i had to really feel um for what i was doing where i was placing it but i tried to keep it in the same process girl so at the very end we're going to be adding a track to each side so i'm cutting off the stocking cap at this point all the glue and all that stuff is down the stocking cap is not moving it's not going anywhere it's going to stay put okay this was a few days ago i think three four days still in my head right now it ain't going nowhere so i applied some tracks close to the leave out when you put the tracks closer to your leave out it makes it easier for you to cover the tracks just kind of um having that open gap that we had you'll probably see that gap so that wasn't cool so i like to add some tracks close to the leave out y'all and now we have to work on the leave out i have natural 4c unrelaxed here so you know this thing can revert at any moment but it's all good y'all I, I just i feel like i needed to give myself a break from the wigs and give myself something a little more natural have a little bit of my real hair showing a little bit just so i could I, I feel like weaves make me feel like my hair is done versus wigs make me feel like i have hair on my head that i can just take off easily and it doesn't feel done to me i look cute but it doesn't feel done i like for my hair to feel like it's done so that's why i decided to get the weave but anyways um as you can see the process i did put some heat protectant in it i did blow dry it out because it did shrivel up my hair a little bit uh, obviously my hair is natural um hot combed it flat ironed it and just kind of you know took my time with it i did hit the roots up twice okay and i try to do it in small sections because you know um with natural hair you can't just be doing thick pieces it's just not gonna work it's not gonna get as silky smooth as you would like it to be now it's not going to be as silky as the hair the hair is very beautiful very silky very soft of course it does not shed a tangle it's just like some really good hair i should have probably tried this in like some longer hair i should have tried like a 28 inch honestly because now that i got the hair and i'm like hold up this hair is mad soft but i really was going for a bob something that's just easy everyday length that i don't have to really bother too much with cutting me um some nice evenness so i could have a nice even length on both sides and then y'all don't get hyped y'all because i did try out some curls i wasn't feeling it and then i was like nah we're not doing this this is not mm. and i ended up just kind of bumping the ends i really was not um i i didn't know what i wanted i didn't know if i wanted curls or if i just wanted 
bumped Bob. Honestly, I did not know. I said, once I get to that point, I'll figure it out. So I guess I figured it out, y'all. And I cut myself a cute little bang on the side. And I'm not going to keep it blunt like that. I'm going to do the same technique as I did to the ends on the other side to kind of um, make it a little more natural and not so blunt on the ends. Unless you want that blunt look, girl. If that's what you like then i love it for you but that ain't for me and as you can see it's a really cute style really simple really quick and easy that's why it's called a quick weave baby we ain't sewing nothing and to be honest with you it looks so cute without makeup and that's what i love about weaves too weaves just look so cute without makeup you don't have to worry about is the laser blending to your skin or your makeup feeling it and of course with the makeup is going to look even better the hair is moving, it's flowing, it's soft, it's silky. I don't know if you noticed, but my hair color is not exact. Um, my hair is a little darker. They said it's a natural, but you, it's human hair. You can dye it if you want to, you know. You can put a little color on it if you wanted to darken it up um but i just left it as is i feel like i still look good i still look cute i of course have a little bit more texture on my hair than this i should try out some yakky hair from them i have to see what they have available because that might be really cute and it might blend a little better but all in all i still got my hair pretty straight i feel like it camouflages really nicely nice length y'all this is really really cute here i love how it looks perfect for every day as you can see, my tracks are covered. I mean, your girl is really feeling herself. I was feeling myself before it was even completed. Like, so yeah. I love it. I, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know if you're going to be doing a quick weave anytime soon. And if so, you need to try out this hair. But I will put the links to everything in the description box. You already know that. And yeah, let me go ahead and just give you um, my final statements for the video. All right, y'all, so first of all, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like this video, hook your sister up, okay? I would truly appreciate that. And comment down below, hey, girl, do you do quick weaves? Have you done one? Is it gonna be your first time? Do you do it all the time? Let me know, like, are you gonna be attempting a quick weave, okay? I love the hair, it's really nice. It's really pretty. It's kind of giving off like a number two, you know, like a brownish kind of color. My hair is like a 1B. But nonetheless, it still looks really good. And you know what? I got some bundles left. So I was thinking that I might try to do something fun with the rest of them. Maybe bleach them, color them. You know, do a little bit more experimental things that I used to do. I used to go crazy with the colors and stuff. So I might give it a shot with the remainder bundles. And maybe with this one, I take it out as well. But I think I look good, y'all. It's giving boss lady corporate office job take me serious not plain but still sassy and pretty all at the same time do you feel me but i'm gonna wrap today's video up i will see you ladies and gents if you're watching in my next video until then i will holla i'll see you later bye